So it's more than just a place to pick up your prescriptions. The pharmacy has helpful products and cures for all kinds of problems. And today we call on that white coat behind the counter to answer your questions. Phil Callie is a pharmacist and popular online personality who doesn't shy away from the stuff we all wonder about. You asked and now he is ready to answer. This is where you really shine, my friend, and it's one place where I think people are so grateful because you're out there saying, I'm here to help, and you like to help. I do like to help. It's easier for me to ask questions because I've been answering questions for 22 years. Yeah. It's harder to come up with something creative Yeah. because I'm 50, so. <laughs> <laughs> Creativity Thanks. stops it. You don't have a pill for that, a supplement for that? Uh, you just get tired. <laughs> the kids take it out of you after that many years. Okay, let's start with this first question. No doubt coming from a female friend. What should I take if I'm low in progesterone? So when we look at one hormone, all the other hormones are messed up too. So when somebody says progesterone, they're talking about very specific issues, probably hot flashes, yeah. probably sweating too much. Yeah. But what we need to do is we gotta take care of both the androgens, not just testosterone, and increase the estrogen and help the and help the progesterone. So to pair it back, you're saying if one hormone's off, likely others are as well. No, they are. They are, done, okay. You don't have one draw. Okay. It's like if you have one mad kid, the rest of them are all doing, or mad They're kid. They're all angry? Yeah, that's how it works. Okay. So there's a couple of really simple tri tricks that you wanna start out with. First of all, spearmint tea, I love spearmint tea. Okay. So spearmint tea has this chemical in it, and that carragon helps reduce rogue androgens. Rogue androgens are the reason why you get those little hairs. Okay. It also has shown to increase the amount of estrogen you have. Okay. Both of those two things support the progesterone from coming up. So okay. two glasses of spearmint tea works out to the similar type mechanisms we use uh, this drug called spironolactone. They're oh. not exactly the same, but it's it, the way it works, where it works on the, alda, the aldosterone system uh -huh. is the same. Sounds like a fairly simple remedy. Well, it's the nice thing is that you're drinking two glasses of spearmint tea and your breath smells better. Okay, nice. So maybe we're just helping people. Extra kisses on the back. <laughs> the other thing I really love is this stuff called inositol. It's okay. myelinositol and it's a sugar and the inositol sugar has the alcohols and they've kind of twisted up. So they're, and it becomes what's called a secondary messenger for our hormone system. Okay. So usually people who are struggling with progesterone are also struggling a little bit with insulin resistance mm -hmm. and they start to get the thickness around the middle. Mm -hmm. So you usually don't drop one without having the other one happen. Myonositol works both with the secondary hormone system with our estrogen and testosterone, but also works on that insulin re resistance component. Okay. So when you start to see that the white fat come across Thickening. here and yeah. you're starting to sweat, you gotta start thinking insulin, estrogen, and testosterone. So the first two things, spearmint and inositol because you're adding a tea. Uh-huh and a type of sugar to your diet that your body can and utilize. And inositol, is that a supplement? Is that it's a, a supplement. Okay. You can find it in some foods, but it's pretty low. But okay. I did notice that a lot of chefs around me already know what inositol is, because I think they use it for flavoring and certain things okay, as well Okay, so that's too. the one-two punch you would start with. That's what I would start with, because okay. that way we're fixing a little bit of, we're helping the testosterone, not have all these rogue androgens. It helps increase the estrogen a little bit. Most of all, you see that raise in progesterone, and there's great studies, 2007, 14, 2021, all that show almost a 50% increase in some of the good nice. effects we're looking for. I love how this just rolls out of you. Okay, hopefully that helps. <laughs> uh, next question, we're going to that dry winter season. How do right. I help prevent cracked fingertips? They hurt. So fingertips are really hard. So you gotta remember the skin on the outside, it's dead. So quit trying to save it with thick ointments. It's already dead. It's gone. It is. You don't have that power to raise it from the dead yet. So instead, what you want to do is we want to take that top layer off and then push the new skin up from underneath. Okay. The best way to do that is 20% urea. Urea. Yep. Urea is 20% urea. It helps isolate the type of keratinized tissue that's there. Okay. So you take off the dead tissue and doesn't really attack the new tissue that's coming in. Okay. But because you are sore already, you want to take a little bit of hydrocortisone. Okay. Now, hydrocortisone at a, at a low percentage like this is the best way to increase moisture from the inside going out. Okay. You can't really suck it in the other way. <laughs> You'd love to think that, but no. when you get in the bath, it actually makes it worse, not oh, better. Oh, okay, so okay. What you want to do is half of it you want the urea 20%, the other half you want hydrocortisone 1%. And putting this on any dry, chapped area? Anything, yeah, and if you want, if. If you want, you can actually increase more of the hydrocortisone if you find that it's more inflamed. Okay. Or if it's less inflamed, you can just... I just noticed we had a friend over here. We have a friend. My wife says he's creepy. I, I think he? that's unfair. Well, I don't... Yeah, he's, he's a he. You know, you gotta, you gotta keep track of these things. I guess so. I guess so. Welcome to the table. Okay, <laughs> next question. How can I better manage my medications if they make me nauseous or if they cause me to throw up? Okay, so there's this effect called the Globus effect, okay? And that's when you've had a negative experience and so your body's getting ready to fight against it. Uh-oh. So when you've taken pills and you've been sick in the past, 
your brain automatically says, I'm going to tighten that throat. I'm going to slow down the gastric emptying. Mm. So you want to take it with some food, but when you take food, it's all the stuff you shouldn't eat. Our body moves sugar through faster because it doesn't have to work as fast. So as okay. soon as it realizes you're eating a carb, uh -huh. your gastric emptying happens faster. Oh. But when that doesn't work, there's a few other tricks. So okay. I brought my friend here so we could show. So uh -huh. the first one is, if you're having a hard time swallowing or that throat feels tight, yeah. if you get a little bit of benzocaine spray, like uh -huh. you get in chloroseptic or in this one, uh -huh. and you just give him a couple of sprays. To help the pill go down. Oh yeah, it's gonna go down I easy mean, for him. That He's tongue's gonna to go. help him, her a as well too. Absolutely. So. Okay, fine. <laughs> so, that's, so when we take the benzocaine, it numbs the back of the throat, which makes it easier to swallow. Okay. Is this disturbing? I think that... It, well, the tongue's moving. The so tongue does aside move. Aside from that, I can look her in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> then the other trick is, is that you wanna make sure that you've added a little bit of ginger to your diet. Oh. So to calm, like the ginger ale effect. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So that helps gastric emptying time. It means that it'll lose it faster, so it won't sit in your stomach quite as long. Okay. So you got a little carbs, a little bit of ginger, and then there's stuff out there called digestive bitters. Oh. They make it from licorice and wormwood, and they just go get it from any of your nature, your natural stores. Okay. The bitter flavor causes you to salivate more and causes everything to move better. So if you use a little bit of uh, digestive bitters, yeah. some ginger, eat it with carbs, and then you've got to make sure more than anything else that you're drinking enough water. Okay. So most people, when they, when they get it, they just drink just a little bit of water. But we really, I mean, really want to oh, go for oh, it. Oh, yeah, we got a gut. I mean, you see how now we flush the bottom all the way out. I thought the mouth spray was <laughs> where we were done with her, but no. But, you, but the thing you find with most people is they don't drink water before and after, and they're not drinking enough water. Kay. And I can say that universally, and nobody will ever complain. No, no none of us drink wine. enough water. So. Okay, we've got 30 seconds. Can we get to one more question quickly? Because I know it affects a lot of families. How can I help my child with dry skin patches and winter eczema? So the easiest one on that one is hydrocortisone, 1% cream, uh -huh. ammonia lactate, 12%, uh -huh. and uh -huh. then you add in a little bit of lanolin and petrolatum. Mix the parts equally, so each okay. one part of each. Uh -huh. This one will take off the top layer of skin that's already beat up and not Hurt. good. Yeah. This one helps reduce the inflammation and brings okay. moisture, and there is nothing better than lanolin to protect you in the long run. To that I can say amen. I can say amen. Phil, thank you so thank much. You. We didn't get to a couple of your questions. We'll try to maybe force Phil over to our Instagram. Is that okay? We'll be okay? there. I'll answer them all on Instagram. Thank you so. so much. And of course, you should be following this friend on Instagram. How can we find you? Phil's my pharmacist on any of the platforms. And I also sit up in Logan if you get really bored. There, Logan. Cash Valley Pharmacy. Cash Valley Pharmacy. Thank you so thank much. You. We'll link you to Phil's my pharmacist online. Really give him a follow. Great information coming during this upcoming sixth season.